Hold it all, sir. What's going on guys what's up what's up what's up we about to head out we're here it's about seven o'clock in the morning this gas get this gas get this road man we're gonna be going on i-20 man we're gonna be going towards uh birmingham first once we get to birmingham we're gonna go up to huntsville once we get to huntsville we're there we're there what's up d solo what's say what's up on, what's happening man let's roll man let's get on down for this black history. This dude, you ain't driving, man. You ain't driving. Why are you in a hurry? Oh, let's roll. Well, why are you complaining? You want to drive? No, I want to drive. We about to roll, y'all. What's going on guys, man? We made it to Birmingham, man. We're at Walmart, we're at Walmart. The solo, what you getting, man? I'm always looking for a power. I'm a special man, power off, man. You can't beat it. You didn't pack no clothes, man. Hey man, I'm going over here to get a charger, okay? Like I said, we're here. We're in Alabama. I needed to stop and get me a charger, man, for uh for my cell phone. So just a quick stop, but we in Birmingham. Pin pads hit okay, man. Huh? No, 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 no. Pin pads hit okay, man. Huh? I said so much record. No, 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 no. I said so much record. Guys, we're leaving Walmart, but uh, we almost got kicked out. D Solo? No, not me. D almost got us kicked out of Walmart, man. Man, listen, the, the, what did the guy say? The guy said, I don't want to be on camera. Say, what the what hell? Why would he even try to film him? Wait, the guys, we almost got kicked out of Walmart. So, uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, Birmingham. Hey, he was serious, too. Yeah, he was dead. I got what I want. I already got one. I just got a uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Let me see what I want out of here. Something to drink. What do I want to drink, guys? Looking for the Gatorade. Where's the Gatorade at? Solo. Solo, what you getting to drink? That wild watermelon? Nah, oh, man. We're gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, just give me a ginger ale. One of these. 
of these ginger rails down here. What's up guys we finally made it we're here at the plant right now gonna uh, meet security security's gonna take us over to the tour guide but uh we're gonna see what's up man y'all stay tuned man <laughs> hey, you VIP, bro. I'm VIP, man. You VIP, dog. Give me some shoes, man. Still throw shoes, man. Yeah, some gold shoes, man. This is the VIP treatment. <laughs> this is what you get when you come to Polaris, man. You get clackers for your shoes. Even though he got on Nike Vapor Max, <laughs> they, don't have, they don't have steel toes at all, sir. How you doing, ma'am? I'm good, how are you? All right, all right. You the tour guide? I'm your tour guide for today. I'm Alexis. I've um, been at Polaris here six years, so I'm gonna give you guys a tour to kind of let you know what we're doing. So okay. if you guys can follow me, I'm gonna go to the mezzanine, kind of let you guys see how we operate, um, and then kind of show you some of the units that we have over here that you guys can take pictures of. All right, thank you. All right, guys, let's go. What is going on, Straight Up TV, man? As always, man, you got to subscribe. And as always, man, I have to talk about my sponsors. So we're going to get into a sponsor video and we'll be right back. And now the amazing SUTV sponsors. Light the night. If you want to light the night, you must get light the night. Callaway and Sons Heating and Air Conditioning with 24 hour service. Get the best. Get Callaway. Audio Hogs. We strive to create the most dominant audio system that's ever been heard. Power X Generators. The number one source for lithium batteries. Built with the latest state of the art technology. All right, guys. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. All right. So listen, man, the tour of Polaris in the streets was phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. I wish I wish this was something I had done uh, years ago. So um, but never it's never too late to do something that that you want to do. So. Um, all right. So I want to shout out uh, D Solo D Solo for uh, taking the trip from Marietta, Georgia to huntsville alabama shout out to d solo um i want to shout out magic city slingers um from alabama i want to shout out big o big o met us up at uh at top golf in birmingham and uh you know hung out with us had a drink or two chilled laughed and talked and um he gave us a bunch of information restaurants uh hotels uh just gave us you know he made us aware of the of the area you know what i'm saying so that was cool showed a lot of love so appreciate that magic city uh big o 
uh so anyway so uh like i said it's like 7 15 in the morning we stopped and got gas and we rolling doing about 75 80 miles per hour uh traffic was pretty good uh no complaints there um we got to bucky's everybody stopped at bucky's man it's just like a slingshot thing we got something to eat some snacks or whatever from bucky's um and then we proceeded to go uh on our route uh to birmingham uh, once we got to birmingham we stopped at a walmart uh, had a little issue in there because i had the camera with me guys and some people get freaked out when they see a camera camera was not pointed at nobody but me and DeSolo, solo but uh this individual wanted to make it known that they don't want to be on camera uh camera was not even pointed in their direction not even in there anyway um so we we went to go check out and this person was now over there in the checkout area still talking about the camera so anyway security looked at me i looked at security the camera wouldn't even point at nobody but anyway long story long <laughs> we uh we got out of there it was funny and uh we went on to birmingham and straight up to uh huntsville alabama um once we once we got about three miles um uh, to the uh polaris industries we started seeing these large warehouses large warehouses that said polaris at the top so they're large and they say polaris at the top so de solo was like hey bro i think we passed it so i was like nah we still got 2.2.3 miles left so i said that's not it so um we went two or, two or three more miles and we finally was there uh, pulled in uh, parking lot was full um, so we had to park in the back which is cool got our stuff out <clears throat> got my camera GoPro <clears throat> everything out went all the way to the front checked in with security security put us on the kiosk machine Polaris Industries wants to know who is taking a tour you know they want to know a little bit about you you know what I'm saying they want to know who's walking through uh, their plant so you know name address um phone number uh business or whatever so you <clears throat> fill out a little bit of information and you're on your way well you're not on your way uh they also give you some eye protection uh and they also give you some clackers so so you in order to go on the um assembly floor you have to have steel toe boots or, or shoes so we we didn't have that so they gave us these things called clackers and you slip them on uh your shoes and it turns your shoes into steel toes so we put the clackers on um and a tour guide uh was telling us we we're about to go uh, and they took my camera man they took my camera took my gopro took my cell phone i'm assuming they they you know they seen the shirt podcast slingshot they said nah we're not even gonna play with this guy we're taking everything he got um like I said, I don't know if that was the, that's just the standard, but they took they looked, uh, took my Sony camera, they took my GoPro, took my cell phone. Uh, so it was no chance for me getting anything. Um, so they locked it up at the security desk and then we proceeded to go on the tour. Our tour guide was Alexis. Alexis was pretty cool. She was knowledgeable on a lot of things. I think she had been there for six years. So she was very knowledgeable. The tour started off by going upstairs to the second floor once you get up there you're in like a balcony and you can look and see everything that's been done you know assembly lines forklifts and parts and, and you know you see everything uh but then there's a tv on the wall and she pressed play on the tv and um we watched um a video three to five minute video about polaris industries and uh you know it's talking about 25 i think it's 2500 employees there uh building was built in 2016 uh it gives you a little black back history on a lot of things um after that video is over the tour guide elaborates on certain things uh that were in the video and she asks do you have any questions we asked one or two questions we proceeded to walk down uh, more you come to another tv and the tour guide uh, press play on that tv and it's more information about polaris industries good information good information that you, you should know 
Um, once again, that video is like three to five minutes long. Afterwards, she hits us with some you know, pertinent information about the video, what we really needed to take from the video. Um, no questions, we keep walking. We're still up top, we're looking down at the entire plant building vehicles. Um, so we get to the final TV up top, press play, and it's more information. And once again, three to five minutes. And after that, we're allowed to ask questions and she gives us uh, different information. So then we go opposite back. Um, but at that moment, you already watched like three videos. So you already just, they already gave you so much information. Uh, so I'm trying to absorb that information. So we go downstairs and now we're actually finna walk on the um, floor of the assembly line. So, you know, you got employees walking beside you. You got employees passing you. Everybody is friendly. Atmosphere is really relaxed. Seems like it's, everybody's really professional. Um, I think we crossed over one, two, three, four. We crossed over one, two, three assembly lines. And then we were at the slingshot assembly line, man. And that's where we, uh, that's where you almost overdosed, man. All that information, slingshots everywhere, man. It's crazy, man. You know, I get excited. So anyway, uh <laughs> we're at the assembly line for the slingshots we're at zone one all right there's four zones zone one is response every zone is responsible for adding to the slingshot but zone one is is nothing but a frame i mean nothing but a frame it's zone one is nothing just just a frame in zone one they start putting the the wiring harnesses and they start wiring it up and stuff like that um, and as it moves through zone one, you see it's, it's, it's becoming a slingshot, you know, um, there's monitors hanging up everywhere, uh, showing different information about that particular slingshot that's at zone one, the slingshot is at zone two or whatever. I asked a uh, guide and she said, uh, I think the solo may ask this question, but we asked how many slingshots do they do in a day? And she pointed up at the screen and it says 32. So they do 32 slingshots per day. And me being, you know, all-star, I'm trying to read everything on the monitor. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it. So there was a lot of information about each slingshot on the monitor. Um, they, I think there was even a number far as what number they're on today. Like they're on number 16 or whatever. There was a number up there for that uh their system she explained to us like their the system is very 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 um what's the word it's very high tech um for instance i mean I, i'm assuming all assembly lines have high tech information so uh but they only bring the necessary equipment for every slingshot like after the day you're not going to have an extra bumper extra tire extra rim extra steering wheel the computer generates what's needed for every slingshot uh and she went more deep into it but it's really high tech you know what i'm saying every part that goes on that slingshot is on that screen is a part of that slingshot so every you know all parts have serial numbers so it, it was cool to hear that and talk to her about that uh we, we can converse about many things but that was cool uh so we're still at zone one which is which is the first zone it's nothing on the slingshot really as we start walking and this is not this is not like a hangout so we're we're constantly walking and um we're talking to some employees some employees oh uh the employees won't break they won't break so they break right there on the spot like they're right beside the slingshot that i'm working on they're they're sitting down they're having their snack or whatever so it's not like they're going to chick-fil-a going to the break room they're in break right there beside the slingshot um so that was cool so we talked to some of those guys they were they were nice cool so by the time it gets to zone two you know it's got tires wheels and all that stuff zone three looking steering wheels radios uh seats and seat belts and as you get the four you know it's it's really complete you got a hood you got everything on it um uh, at, at zone four is when they crate it up they crate it up um they crate it up uh and this is where i got kind of confused a little bit because i think they created they created up 
The slingshot is crated up. It's taken to a different department inside there. It's uncrated. It's uncrated. And then it's dynoed and test and driven, road tested. And then they, they bring it back. They wash it. They clean it. Um, and they, they put it in the crate, back in the crate. Now, I think what I heard was that the reason they do that is because when it's shipped off to a dealership, they don't want, they know that they uncrated it and put it back together and uncrated it. So they know that when it gets to the dealership, there's not going to be a problem putting it together. Uh, I think that's what I was told. Uh, so another thing is though, in zone three and four, they every slingshot they put aftermarket parts on it like they they put parts on it just to make sure it fits the, if, even if the slingshot is not going to have this part on it they test to make sure that parts will fit on each uh slingshot uh so that was cool um and and you know it's what it should be uh that day they were they were assembling uh 2025 r models 2025 r models all different colors um, so it was cool to see the 2025 R models being uh, produced. Um, uh, what else? Um, so that was the end of uh, Zone 4 was kind of the end. We had more questions and stuff like that. Um, but some of my takeaways was that the employees, they had 2,500 employees, right? This was something that caught my attention. It caught me and DeSolo's attention. The employees that work there at Polaris Industries, they can rent for free. They can rent for free a, sl a slingshot for the weekend. Any weekend they could take. Well, matter of fact, anything that there's, they build in that uh, plant, the employees can rent for free um, for the weekend. Now, she did say there's a standard you have to hold, like you can't be late and have a bunch of write-ups and stuff like that. You have to be a, 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 you know, you have to be a good, good employee, uh, but you can rent whatever motorcycle, slingshot, side-by-side, -side, whatever it is, you can rent for the weekend for free. Um, so that was cool, man. I was like, wow, so you can work here and you might as well say you got your own slingshot every weekend. Now, I think there's a certain amount of slingshots that are in that program so if you wait to the last minute you probably won't get one especially when the weather is good outside so it's one of those things if you're going to get it you probably have to put the pay request in to get it uh but that option is there uh and think about it <laughs> think about it you know probably not a lot are uh not a lot of employees are on that good standard where they you know perfect attendance or whatever i don't know but uh that's an option for the employees to rent for free the weekend uh, also, the employees get 40% discount, man, on parts and purchase of a slingshot, man. That's crazy. That is awesome. 40% off. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's it, man. That's it, man. Like I said, the tour was fast. Uh, they don't want you, you know, they don't want you down there uh, as, as for a long time. So, you're walking through, you keep moving. So, you have to absorb uh, as much information as you can. Ask questions and, and keep it moving. Um, so after that, we went back across, back up top, took our clackers off. Uh, I talked to Alexis a little bit more about some things um, and we checked out and went on our way. So that was it, man. That was it. So awesome, awesome, awesome. But it was just cool to be around so many slingshots, man, from start to finish. Uh, it was uh, it was cool. Um, but if you're planning on going, man, I think it's something you should do. And if you do, you know, maybe we can converse when you're finished with your tour. And uh, I think it will be a good conversation between me and you. Um, so if you like this video, guys, I need you to subscribe, man. I need you to share and comment, man. Um, we're going to get out of here, man. Peace.